Split line is an extremely powerful and helpful tool in augmenting things like appearances, shell, and uh, delete face, among other functions. This is an example of uh, something that split line has helped with. We'll call this something like a toothbrush holder. Uh, and you can see I've started off with a simple revolve that is solid all the way through. Uh, and if I want to shell this out, of course, shell doesn't give me the option to use uh, those um, ellipses that you've seen to begin with. It will just shell an entire face. But we can augment the uh, shell feature using split line. Uh, all I have to do is make a simple sketch on this face, and I'll use a center line uh, to divide this face into two. And I can draw a simple ellipse. Now, for brevity of this video, I'm not going to be fully constraining as I normally do. Uh, I'll simply choose an entity and mirror it about this line. And then I can use my split line. You can type in split into a command search to get split line, or you can find it on the features tab under curves. I'm going to choose projection and select the face that I want to project these onto. And all I've done now, if I hit Control Q to rebuild, is divide this face into multiple parts using my sketch. So I turned one face into three faces. Now, when I go to shell, I can easily choose these other two faces and shell out the part based on the faces that I've chosen. Uh, that's a lot more simple and a lot more brief on the history tree than other options. I have another example. As you can see, I've extruded a block. I've shelled the block on one face, and then I've created another extrusion. Notice I've extruded this with the uh, merge result unchecked. So SOLIDWORKS is viewing these as two separate bodies. And uh, if I want to clean this up a little bit, um, you can see it's pretty easy to do an intersect. I just choose one body, choose the other body, create both, and click on the intersect button, and then I can remove the extra material uh, from that hole. However, if I wanted this uh, to be removed, I can't remove this without any uh, without any help. So I'm going to just say OK on that. Now, I have one good option, and that's to sketch on this face. And I can create a line here and also here. If I go to my split line command, this time I'll go from the features actually, split line, and I choose the surface that I would like to split. Well now, I've split this face into several parts. I can go into the surfaces tab and delete face. I can choose the two faces that I would like to delete. Oop, but I had my uh, delete face on the wrong setting, so why don't I choose delete and patch instead? And I've been able to remove that face and keep my solid. In this next example, I've got uh, a piece of mahogany, and say I wanted to simulate something like a nail head or another material. Split face is uh, very helpful. All I have to do is create a sketch on one face. And let's say I want to do a pattern of nails, so you just see the nail head sticking out of the wood. But I didn't want to go into the granularity of creating an assembly and nails and other things, or a multi-body part, or however you would do it. One quick and easy and simple way to create a multi-body face. Or rather, a, multi, a face that would simulate multiple parts without going to that kind of trouble is to come up here with a pattern of something like nails, create my split line, choose my face, and I split my face with my sketch. Then I can choose my faces, create an appearance by face, and we can go with something like, oh, how about brushed steel? Notice you, you, you do have to have real view graphics on, and to have real view graphics, you have to have hardware to support real view graphics, but uh, this is an example of how you can simulate different appearances on the same face using split line. I hope these examples were helpful in seeing how uh, 
Split line can augment the shell function, can help you delete faces that you don't want to have, and help you enhance your appearances. If you do, so please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.